Round two of the European Le Mans series qualifying began as it always does with the new category LMGT3, four different manufacturers and we actually did really well to get the mixture just about right. Lamborghini third fastest with Hiroshi Hamaguchi for Iron Lynx in their bright green and black car. Another green and this time white machine, the Ferrari of Duncan Cameron with a qualifying best for the last few years actually for the Brit. He managed to get second position in the 55 but all the descriptions have been completed for the Iron Dames crew. They continue to amaze. They had a season away from the European Le Mans series, but back again. And Sarah Bovey, two from two. Can they get the result this time that they deserved in Barcelona? Then we moved on to LMP3 and a neat and perfectly formed field of 10 cars heading out, a mixture of Ligiers and Duquesne. And Team Virage, the multiple champion of Julien Henrion, managed a third position start in car number eight. Manuel Espirito Santo, who grabbed all the headlines three weeks ago in Catalonia with a pole position there, he backs that up with a second place start for race two here in Le Castellet. But RLR M Sports, Gael Julien, the rapid Frenchman, really stamped his name in the championship race. And this is what it meant to the British squad. They'll start from the pole. LMP2 Pro-Am we moved on to next, again a bronze only session similar to the LMGT3s and wasting no time at all in car number 29 American driver Rodrigo Sales managed a time to put him in third position. Francois Perodo off the back of a victory in Barcelona with AF Corsa just missed out on the pole position but nevertheless will start on the front row in LMP2 Pro-Am alongside this guy again two out of two so far for Giorgio Roda in the 77 Proton competition car and they must start as one of the big favourites in LMP2 Pro-Am and maybe to mix it with the main cars as well. High fives all round at Proton. And then the session that everyone had been waiting for, 14 cars so closely fought. At one point we had something like nine cars separated by just a second and it's Matteo Cairoli for Iron Lynx in the number nine car that got the third fastest time. Second place, this team really struggled in Barcelona but AO by TF are back with a bang Louis Delatraz actually parked it in the pit lane with something like 15 thousandths of a second of a buffer zone he did miss out on pole position in the end to this car the Matra replica livery for Edex Sport and Jop Van Outert who is still trying to find a key hypercar drive well this will certainly go one way to doing it because Jop Van Outert beats some huge names in the session and he will start from pole position for the four hours of Lucastelet for 2024 round two of the ELMS.